Great. Here's another question. How many of you were told at some point in your life that you could not or should not sing or express yourself? Okay. So if we went to another place that was sort of like what, what's considered developing or uncivilized, most people wouldn't have had that experience. So there's something about our civilized culture that's kept us separate from our self-expression. And our self-expression is it's really the most natural thing that we're here for, right? So we're sort of, you know, my, my thing that I always say is we're hardwired for self-expression. That's what we're hardwired for. And if we're not doing that, we're actually holding in trauma and stress. The natural reaction to anything impacting us stressfully is to respond, right? If we don't respond to stress, what happens? That stress gets held in the body as trauma, as, um, and eventually, uh, you know, calcified energy and eventually disease, right? So I don't want to talk too much about trauma, but trauma, when it impacts us, if we don't respond, we hold it in. So a lot of us are going around being like, hold it in, hold it in, I'm in control, I'm in control, I'm in control, I can handle this, I can handle this, right? Many of us doing this over, over time for a long time. So that what happens when we start to unravel some of those control systems through the yoga practice is we find what's underneath. Tell me what's underneath. What's underneath the control? Fear, what else? Freedom. freedom. Fear and freedom. Wow! What a concept. Okay, one of the greatest things that I ever heard was where there's fear, there's power, right? So the thing that we're afraid of is the thing that ties us, it's, it's holding us from our freedom, right? So one of the things that we talk about it off the mat a lot is walk straight towards that which scares you most. And through that, walking straight, which, straight towards which scares you most, you will find liberation and freedom. And so I know that today I might be pushing you way past your comfort zone. Hallelujah. Because if you came here and, and I just was like, all right, today we're going to have a really nice yoga practice. You won't be pushed at all. You'd walk out of here and you might have had a nice practice, but you might not have really grown. Because what challenges us is what makes us grow. Okay? Easy to say, hard to do. But I also know that just beyond the wall of terror and fear of singing or letting yourself pray out loud or moving your body off your mat or whatever it is, just beyond that wall of terror is pure bliss and freedom. So we're going for that. That's our goal today. And so again, check your inner critic. How strong is your inner critic? Notice when it comes in today, when it says, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I feel like a kid. I feel like a five-year-old. And say, all right, yeah. When you feel like that little kid, that's when you've hit the, the sweet spot, okay? The sweet spot. Um, uh, so, so, when we don't, so again, when we don't respond to stress, we hold it in, and it calcifies, and it, and it basically becomes disease for us. Oh! Walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around. The words 
are just the, like exactly the words that we were just listening to, Om Mane Padme Hum. And we're just gonna sing that for a few moments. I want you to imagine that as you sing, you're freeing yourself from everything and anything that binds you, anything that prevents you from being fully expressive in your life, and telling your truth in your own life, and indeed telling the truth for all beings. And whatever else you want to pray for, it's fine too. And the words are Om Mane Padme Hum, which means God is the jewel in the center of the lotus. So often, we talk about how the lotus grows from the mud. The lotus grows from the mud. So all that has bound us and challenged us in our lives, that's what teaches us how to be free. So as you pray, give thanks for all that has challenged you as much as all that has made you free. Here we go. Om ne padme hum. 